All right, what is going on, UTM 26s? How y'all doing today? And welcome back to the Concussion Chronicles episode seven. Um, and so today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about banning, um, just banning in Splatoon in general. Um, and my sort of overarching. Oh well, hold on, hold on. Let me let me back up a little bit. And so obviously, or well, probably obviously for some of you, this topic was sort of born. Um, Specter's essay that was posted. Sat nope, not Saturday, Thursday. Um, Thursday evening, um, and I was going to make this video a while ago, but I just wanted to give it time for me to actually think about it and sort of form my opinion, um, and so basically my overarching, um, opinion on banning is that nothing in the current metagame or just in the current game in general needs to be banned out entirely, like, no tournament currently needs to be like, okay, this is way overpowered, it needs to be banned, um, so, why and we'll, we'll use quick respawn as the example here because it was the um it was the ability that specter sort of brought up um in the essay and it was the one that was talked about most in like the replies and everything and so obviously for quick respawn right it gives you way more lives or not way more but it's giving you know, more opportunities and chances to impact the game and just to get kills right so but when using quick respawn, you're obviously giving up something else. Maybe you're giving it like we'll use defense up as um as the example here. So maybe you're running like I don't know, main and three subs of quick respawn, right? So let's say then you replace that with a main and three subs of defense. So now um instead of having that however much time it is that you're saving on your respawns, you're now may be able to take an extra shot unless it will just say it's one extra shot because i don't i don't know the calcs off the top of my head um and obviously it depends on what other people are running now the reason like and so maybe like it, again it may be obviously quick response stacks a lot better than um defense up or really any other ability does which is why people do think that it should be banned and i understand that but I don't think it's such um, a difference that that it really warrants being ner or being banned. And also, you have to understand that you are still having a respawn timer. It's not like you die and you just magically appear back at your spawn. You do have to take. There is a um, time that you are spending in like the kill cam and respawning. And so, with that being said, that time, let's say you're running your defense up. Maybe instead of dying, you take that extra shot and you end up getting the kill you're now not having to respawn and you're still alive. So not only is it, um, are you not losing that time that you have to respawn, but you're staying alive and you're still being able to be productive in game. Um, and so that's why like as much as like quick respawn, it can have an impact in the game. Um, it can obviously it only like maybe it obviously it only takes one respawn, but it also, only takes living one kill um right so as much as you can say like yeah but you're gonna get maybe you'll get that one respawn in at the end of the game you can also counter that with yeah maybe you'll get that maybe you'll st live that extra shot and you'll then end up getting the kill that wins the game so there's just every it can be it balances out right it's a give and take because you're giving up something in order for you to get that respawn um so Moving on to sort of a, where I could see banning being um, useful um, and sort of like in making the game better, right? Because um, that's the main thing. If I thought quick respawn would, if I thought banning quick respawn would make the game better and more competitive, uh, sorry, I just had a notification come up on my phone, I would say yes, do it. But I don't think that it would affect the game um, in a positive way, obviously. So now moving on. And again, I'm sorry that I'm all, like, nasally and everything. It's just my allergies. Um, so moving on to where I could see Quick Respawn being effective. If Nintendo were to change the way that abilities are done and subs and specials are done to where it's no longer a fixed um, a fixed set and, and you're no longer... Yeah, if, like, a fixed set for both your weapons and your abilities... Um, and where you sort of had the opportunity to choose, and it was done on a point system, so where certain abilities, maybe the ones that um, provide you with invincibility, 
cost more points than something like um, one of the rushes. Um, that then there would be some balance there, and you would also it would just provide with a ton more. Um, the game would just be more customizable, yeah, for players. And I, I honestly, I would, I would accept that, and I would honestly like to see that happen. I'm not sure it ever will. Um, and also, what it would do, and it would, it would sort of eliminate the RNG um, of rolling. Um, and obviously, I understand why. I understand why people wouldn't want to see, um, like the sea snails go and everything. Um, and that's sort of another topic for another video, but we won't really won't get into that too much. So what I could see happening is if um, if these if like it would Nintendo decided to go to this more customizable format, um, what I could see happening is tournament leaders being like, okay, we're gonna give each team an X amount of bands. I don't know if you'd necessarily give it, and I would also I would also throw in protects as well. Like if teams like we really want this in game, then they could like use one of their we'll call them picks to protect it. Um, and so I could see like, I don't know if, and let me get back to this. I don't know if I'd necessarily go each player gets a pick in a band or gets a pick. I mean, sorry. Um, simply because unless they, unless Nintendo adds a lot, like a lot more subs and specials, um, or in a lot more abilities, there's simply just not enough. I don't think. Um, although I, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. It just, in my opinion, I don't see it. I don't see there's being enough out there. And I, I don't know. I'd really have to take a look at a, like a full list to really see if there's enough where you could ban out eight. And obviously with this, um, you're eliminating a lot of weapon variants because you wouldn't need to have three different Splatter Shop pros. You wouldn't need to have, um, like I think it's three different variants of the, um, uh, custom range. Um, so that you would eliminate all these variants, right? Because what you would have is you would simply have the weapon, like, model, and, the, like, the base weapon with the stats that it has, and then you would be able to pick the sub and special that you want. Okay, now. And so I, I, I think that that would be... I, I think that that could work. Um, there would obviously... I don't know, maybe depending on how like the game would balance out and just the mechanics of the game, there may need to be certain builds that are just that need to be like, you cannot use this in tournament because it would just be overly strong. Um, like I didn't like just using an example. Um, like, let's say like with how the game played a pro with a Kraken was just like that much better. And it got to the point where teams were literally just running four pros with Krakens. Um, so now obviously there are the bands so a team could like this team could go and be like all right no pros or no krakens but then you're sort of you're losing a piece of the game there um and that would, but anyways let's move on um and just sort of like an example of how this can be applied so let's say you're playing chimera right and you're like okay um we don't want dude with a pro because um, dude with a pro is just that much better than our player with a pro, but our player is a really good 96 player. So what, so what we're going to do is we're going to ban the pro because, um, because our player feels that they will have a better matchup, um, with dude, with whatever weapon he decides to go with against our player who's using, um, who's using the 96. And so uh, but then on the other side, maybe like, maybe dude knows like, all right, hey guys, I know if I can use the pro, I will dominate at least this one player. And so, so whoever it ha whoever has like, whoever gets to pick or if like, if there's multiple picks or whatever, they're going to use their, um, they're going to use their pick to protect the pro. And so it would, it would allow us for a lot more like stra strategy to be implemented into the game that also wouldn't affect but this also, like, obviously wouldn't affect the core gameplay. You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, public public matches, like, ranked and um, turf war wouldn't be affected to the point where, like, you're literally missing out on parts of the game because something is um, unbalanced. And I, I think that's probably where I'm going to end the video. I hope I made sense. I don't really know. I sort of rambled on. 
and I'm also running out of breath <laughs> because I can't breathe out of my nose. Um, so either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Obviously, if you enjoyed, you know, or click that like button, leave any like comments you have on my opinion in the comments. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.